Nico, and welcome back to Nico Power Volume 1. So, during every single recording I've done of this, something has always gone wrong. So this time, let's just get on for this and retry it again from the beginning. This time, let's try and complete this and head off to Nico Power Volume 2. Thank you very much, I'm heading out now. Goodbye, random mover person. He was invisible! Either that or the mover person was a... A cloud? Phew! This should be most of the boxes then! I wiped the sweat off my forehead with my arm! As the moving truck disappeared from view, although it was early so April and only the beginning of spring, today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot! Well, it's a good day for a new start! I turned my head to look at the MG Bakery, which didn't even have the signage yet. Signage. Again, it would have been not easy to just design. The brand new exterior of wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. There was also a large window which let, which lets lots of sunlight in. And finally, there was the word that displayed the name of the bakery, La Sol. Instead of the proper French article Le, it was La Sol, meaning the sun. It was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself, from here on out, no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely new, despite the stature of my family's name and everything that happened up till now. <laughs> I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do, <laughs> and be sure not to tell Naomi what I'm doing. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. All right. In any case, I'd better get all those things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into the new smelling bakery. Ah. <laughs> What's with this big box? In front of me was a large box I didn't recognise. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile, delicate, absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. The warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. Even if they are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off, they were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If they were for the baker, there was no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There was no tags from the moving company either. All they were were these warning labels. Well, I'll know once I've opened the... Bless you! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's just a cat, uh, just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Like that would fool me. What are you doing, chocolate? We just saw each other at home yesterday, you know. Oh, they were? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, how rude. They actually said you were heavy. Compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. That's a bit rude. She ignored what I said. Chocolate puffed out her cheeks. You could say she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Well, I guess that was how you described chocolate. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. I bless you. Hey. Why is Vanilla here too? 
それは私がいるところだから。<laughs> Just like me and Ayumi, wherever Ayumi goes, I'm sure to turn up. <laughs> Or vice versa. Two peas in a pot. <laughs> oh dear, how rude! I'm sure you were. Again, huh? In any case, truck of any, you'll get out of there. I was at my wit's end with a large box that had suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chuck and Minnie have got out of their boxes. Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shigura doing? I hung up and was trying to call my little sister. There was no way that Chuck and Minnie could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had ears and tails, just like cats do. They were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. These days, cat girls fit into society as pets in families or partners to humans. My little sister really loves to dote on cat girls, so our family has six, including chocolate and vanille. In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves on on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I could only guess this was somehow Shigura's doing. I see. So Shigura was an accomplice then. Yes, it is. Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves! Hi. Without any ill intention, the two cat girls were off and running. Well, the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor, so I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore either, so I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, that besides, I locked up an address in my phone, in my phone's address book. Minaduki Residence. Well, I already left Shigura a message, so she should call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I moved out without saying anything, so for her to call me back within a day seems a bit stupid. Well, it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should hear from Shigura soon, anyhow. That was quick. Also, I better turn the chest bounce down. Strange. Hold on a moment, it seems to make your animations jitter. Good work, you two. Gosh, both of you are major bedheads, sheesh. I tidy up their hair with a comb. Their soft hair felt nice as always. Oh, I lightly bonk them both on the head while they have their eyes closed. Now then, why were you two of you hiding amongst my moving boxes? Oh, I would definitely take you along with me. <laughs> I'd also sneak in Naomi too. Oh, now you both look very sad. I must give you both cuddles. You had no choice, just tagged along, you two. Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you two? This isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Should go and the other cat girls are there too. It would be better if you two just... Oh dear. Oh, 
朝ごはん食べ損なったから仕方ないそれにショコラはお腹の音もかわいい While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw it was already past one o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I hadn't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? These two were as easy going as always. 